started um, with, with, we're going to talk about the economy, a lot of other things. A, uh, the CDC uh, has identified a case of coronavirus uh, in Washington state, the Wuhan strain of this. Um, if you remember SARS, that affected GDP, travel related effects. Um, do you, have you been briefed by the CDC? I have. Are and, there words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and uh, we're, we have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China, and we have it under control. It's uh, going to be just fine. If we were doing a bad job, we should also be criticized. But we have done an incredible job. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And from our shores, we, you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. Nobody really does. Well, I think, Bob, really, to be honest with you, I want you to I be. wanted to. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. Is, is there any fairness to the criticism that you may have lulled Americans into a false sense of security mm -hmm. when you were saying things like it's going to go away well, it is. and that sort of thing? But, Jim, it's going away. But when you were saying things like, I think it's a problem that's going to go away within we'll a couple of days. It, go, it will go away. You said within a couple of days, it's down to zero. Well, the cases really didn't build up for a while. But you have to understand, I'm a cheerleader for this country. Without a vaccine, sir, why do you think the virus will just be gone? It's going to go. It's going to leave. It's going to be gone. It's going to be eradicated. Uh, and uh, it might take longer. It might be in smaller sections. In every generation, through every challenge and hardship and danger, America has risen to the task. We have met the moment, and we have prevailed. You said in your comments earlier, we have met the moment we have prevailed. To you, sir, is the mission accomplished? No, we've prevailed on testing is what I'm referring to. We will be today terminating our relationship with the World Health Organization and redirecting those funds to other worldwide and deserving urgent global public health needs. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, we're very close to a vaccine and we're very close to therapeutics, really good therapeutics. And uh, But even without that, I don't even like to talk about that because uh, it's fading away. It's going to fade away, but having a vaccine would be really nice, and that's going to happen. I think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus. I think that at some point uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. I'll be right eventually. <laughs> I will I be right eventually. You know, I said, it's going to disappear. I'll say it again. But does it's that, going to disappear. Does that and you? I'll be right. I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. You know why it doesn't disappear? Because I've been right probably more than anybody else. I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. But that doesn't mean we aren't doing everything we can. It's under control as much as you can control it. This is a horrible plague that beset us. Sarah, you said in an interview this morning on the coronavirus, this thing's going away. It will go away like things go away, despite ongoing cases and death. Going away. Isn't that you uh, playing out of touch reality? It's going away now. It'll go away. Things go away. Absolutely. It's uh, no question in my mind. It will go away. Please go ahead. Hopefully sooner rather than later. We've done a great job in COVID, but we don't get the credit. You know, we work through the governors. The governors have gotten everything they wanted. Every ventilator. We didn't have ventilators. We had empty cupboards when I got there. As they say, the cupboards were bare. Uh, I think they're going crazy over the election. I think they're seeing what's happening. But if you look at the European Union right now, they're having breakouts like you've never seen before. And frankly, their numbers are at a level that are much worse than the numbers here. We are, we have done, we have, Phil, we have done much, much better than the European Union. I just read your numbers that are not good on their behalf and that are very good in ours. And we have rounded the final turn, but it affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. The President of the United States and the First Lady have both tested positive for the coronavirus. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that order. It will go away. And as I say, we're rounding the turn. We're rounding the corner. It's going away. Okay, well, that was certainly different from my normal talking head videos, but this video is an important precursor 
to a broader data analysis I'm doing of the coronavirus response in the US and other developed nations. I've been working on that analysis for more than a month now, so please subscribe to see that when it's out. And also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with me and my projects, at Vastava. Also, to the people offering to buy me mics, thank you, that's a really kind offer. Even though I can't accept it, I appreciate it greatly. But I just have to ask, is my audio really that bad? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.